Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube video. Today we're just gonna talk about we need to call on Jesus more than we call on anybody else. So we seem to call on Jesus for like everything. I mean we seem to call on our friends for like everything, but we don't think about to you know necessarily call on Jesus. We call our friends and which is fine, but why do we always look to God last? We shouldn't look to God last, we should look to God first. Because at the end of the day, some of your friends, like, majority of the people I met this year was just fake or whatever. And every time I, I would, like, need a friend to talk to or need someone to hear me out, they would never be available. So, it's like, I'm steady calling them, but they don't want to answer. But when I call God, he answered. He might not answer, you know, right away, but he's in some cases he might, some cases he won't. But um, he's still going to answer you at the end of the day regardless. But why call your friends when most of them be acting funny? Most of them be acting like they don't want to hear your sad, what you trying to express to them. Like, say you going through something deep, 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 and you really need a friend to hear you out, and they're trying to hear you out. So what you do is go to the source and you tell God, like, what's going on with you in your life or whatever. We all are going through a lot, like, a lot. So be kind to people. Like, you never know what they're facing at the end of the day. You never know what's behind, what goes, what goes on behind closed doors. A lot of people go through... Um, rape, a lot of people go through, you know, like, bullying, a lot of people go through losing a parent, a lot of people go through heartbreak, there's so many things that us young women and us young men, we experience in life, even older people go through so too, but at the end of the day, that's why you have to spread kindness and you have to be nice to everybody because you never know what someone is, what someone is dealing with, um, and have your Bible too, have your Bible is the most personal tool you can ever have. So, I've had this Bible for years. So, I've always kept this Bible. And it just gives you, gives you like, daily words. And when I hug this Bible, like, really, really hold it, like, hug it, like, it's a person. I really feel at peace because it's, like, my heart just be, like, like, it feels at peace because I have this Bible. Like, it really feels at peace right now. It's, like, when you let God into your life, then everything starts to get good for you like me and my friend Shay we was just on the phone talking about God she was just saying how she wants to get more closer to God and I told her like yeah you should, you should definitely get more closer to God because God really helps you out like he really do every single day he helps us with everything so it's like get closer with God when you start reading your Bible and you see like things start to get easy for you and you become happier more. Your skin your skin starts to clear more. Your hair starts to get longer. You start to get much healthier weight. You start to look better and feel better. And it's not really affecting the image. Like, you really feel good about yourself. That's all thanks to God. Because God is working out everything for your good. So, no matter what you're up against today, it can be better within 10 minutes. It can be better within 20 minutes. It can be better within... 40 60 minutes you never know so always continue to pray and prosper and go up in life and if you aren't baptized go get baptized i got baptized at, uh, i got baptized at the age of 18 i am now 26 years old so i gave i give jesus my life and if you do want if you have been baptized and you want to go get re-baptized again because you feel like you just slacked off and you feel like you just want to get you feel like you're missing something from god that you didn't that you didn't that you didn't hear or receive and you want to give your life again to him, go right ahead. That makes him even more happy. And when you give your life to God, trust me, he is happy. He's pleased with you because he knows that, you know, you're making a big uh, big thing for yourself and it's a good choice that you're making. Um, You don't want to wait till the last minute and be like, oh, well, I should just give my life to God. That's why I make these videos to tell you guys, go get baptized, give your life to God. It's the right thing to do. Um, Do that and, you know, um, don't be afraid, because I was really afraid, but my life changed for the better, like, it really did, I got close to God, um, I've always believed in God, but, you know, what you go getting baptized is a whole different feeling, like, everything just be so amazing, like, you feel like you just special, you want to feel like that, you want to feel special, unique, wanted, love, supported, all that, like, God's love is better than human love, so, a love that you can get from God, you can't find out here in the streets, so you can't find out from a friend, you have to really experience God's love for yourself to see what I'm talking about, so you have to really go give your life to God, and, you know, confess and say, Lord, I need you, my life ain't been right, I ain't been right, and I need you, I know this ain't me, this ain't what I want to do, you know, I want to be on a different path of life, I want to see 
you know, a better life. I don't want to be in this nutshell life that I'm living in. This, um, not godly life I'm living in. Like, no, you want to live, uh, you want to live for God. We are living for God. Our life is because of God. We're not living for ourselves. We're living for God. So everything we have is because of God. And why we're here is because of God. It's not that we just was created just to be created. No, we were created because we have a purpose up here on this earth. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. Pray to God and ask him what's your calling. What's your calling in life? He told me my calling was to be a YouTuber. It might be more than be a YouTuber. People tell me I should go be a pastor. If my calling is to be a pastor, then I will be a pastor. I will open my own church. I will give more people close to God. Because a lot of people, they um, like I said, they're really young, like 16, 15 years old. They're really experienced with dope guys for the first time. So they, they don't know too much about to do, but they are like, guys are really trying to person them into having sex, getting into bed so soon. And it's like, you don't need to get into bed so soon, especially as a teenager. You really don't need to take that approach. You need to keep your virginity until you leave high school. Because I really kept mad after I left high school. I didn't really have sex in high school at all. So I made sure I kept my virginity. So if you're in high school right now, you're watching me or you're transitioning out of high school and you feel like you want to give your virginity to the guy, pray about it first because you're going to give your virginity to that guy. He's not going to be, you know, the same guy that he was in the beginning. So you want to make sure when you're making choices, you want to make sure that you're making the right decisions. You don't want to make uh, any a mistake and then he leaves you for somebody else like you know you have to really be have a prayer life so you have to pray for every single thing that's why i pray for every single thing every decision i made i prayed about it before i even went hands on like i prayed about this youtube platform like i said i might not have 100k subscribers i might not be up there like most top 10 not most top 10 youtubers are but um uh, you know I still post content. I still try to uplift you guys. I still try to do what I can. I'm nothing but 26, but I have a calling on my life. Everything I do has a calling. So I have a calling on my life, and I'm here to empower you, to tell you that things would be better. If you haven't went to the salon, go to the salon. Go get your hair done today and send me photos because I want to see what you look like. So send me photos. Um, if you can, go get your nails done today. I wish I could get my nails done, but... I'm going to get them done. I just don't know when yet, but I'm going to get it done. Um, you know, I'm going to get my hair done, too. Even though my hair is not really that bad because I have that fly iron, but I'm still going to get it done, too, again. Um, I'm thinking about coloring my hair, too, a different color. So, if you want to, you know, go out and get your hair done and all that, go do that stuff. Don't wait until the last minute. Go get yourself together, you know. It's a lot of stuff that you could be doing, especially my woman. Go get your feet done. You know you need all this stuff done, so go get it done. And you will start feel better, feeling better over the time, but make sure you're praying for it every single day. Like, really, really pray. I say prayer really helps because it really does help. And I try to sit and talk to you guys about prayer as much as I can, but prayer really does help. God answers prayers. God is real. He knows what you want and when you need it and when you, and when you will receive that blessing. So... You know, that's why I try to go live. I, you know, and try to give y'all videos to look at with me live talking to y'all so y'all can have something to look at. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, keep God in first place. Um, God really pulled me out of, you know, a lot of situations this year. This year was really, like, really stressful. But overall, like, I won't say it was that stressful because God really worked stuff out for me. But it was stressful like it really was. But I got through it. And it's been better. Like, days have been better. Um, I feel better mentally, emotionally. Like, I don't feel how I feel, how I used to feel. I used to feel so down and, like, be upset a lot. But I don't feel that way no more. I feel more energetic. I If I do feel tired, it's from school and stuff like that. But I really just, you know, life has been life in. But I really just be okay because I make sure I pray. So, life is going to life. But at the end of the day... Keep prayer. That's the part. That's the good thing that you can do is keeping prayer in your life and making sure God is in the center of everything that you experience in life. Like, um, I'm trying to get friends that pray. Um, a lot. I know a lot of people don't believe in God, but they should believe in God. God will tell you if that person is Christian or if that person is like really into Him. He will let you know that right off back. Like, God will always. Your spirit will tell you. You will feel it, and He will come tell you Himself. Like that person is not of God. So. 
that person is not of me because he is God, but that person, you know what I mean. If that person is not, not of me, so don't be connected with them. God will connect you with people that are connected to him. So he won't connect you to people that don't worship him. We have to worship Jesus in everything that we do. So everything is everything because we have Jesus involved. Jesus is like our best friend. Jesus is the one we call at night. And Jesus is the one that we call during the daytime. So... Jesus is the one we call in the morning. So just have a prayer life today. Get on your knees and thank God for today. Um, thank God for everything. Um, just pray for every single thing because they really work. Like, they prayer is so powerful. And I'm glad I did give God my life at the age of 18 because if I didn't have God in my life, I don't know where I would be at. But I needed God. I did. I needed God. So... You know, go get God's word today um, and try to find more. Like, I'm going to try to post, like, more um, spiritual talks about God and, you know, just making sure that God is front and center of everything. Like, you know, not leaving God out of the uh, masterpiece, not out of the picture, you know. God has to be involved in every single thing that we do. So I try to, like, make my vlogs more about God and talk about God more because God really does a lot like you know um he really he really steps in and he does he does a lot so thank you god for everything that you do thank you for bringing me my platform thank you for letting me reach a thousand people um thank you for letting me continue with this um job called youtube like me back older me i mean younger me didn't even want to do youtube but i see how i bring you young woman together and I see how I bring like um a light in you that you didn't see you have potential you have a light and you have what I mean by a light you have like you have the tools to do good in life you have the tools to um to be something in life so you're not supposed to be um nothing because you are something so make something out of you you're out of yourself today really make something something out of yourself today this all this stuff is coming from god so he's he's telling me to tell you today get up and get on your ground get up and check a bag get up and go to school get up and get your hair done because jesus is working he never stops he never stops so make sure that you're working and don't overwork yourself but you know get in the gym you know eat fruit your favorite portions of food, um, eat a meal today, you know, go out today, um, you know, just, just get some sunlight in your face, um, and be positive today, get more friends that pray for you, um, I don't have that many friends, but I have some friends that really, like, pray for me and, like, worship God, so, you know, that's all we came to do is really worship God, um, I'm gonna see, I know me and Shay were talking about getting together. So, when I get with her, we are going to, like, do, like, we're going to start, like, a podcast. Um, I'm put, I'm starting my podcast up, and we're going to talk on there. And, and we're just going to, like, talk about, like, I guess, like, relationships. Yeah, we could talk about relationships. We're going to talk about um, women empowerment, like, keeping women together. Um, just, you know speaking about God more and like telling him what he's done for us over the years um yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna really get into God like really you know tell you all about God so yeah um but yeah make sure that you're praying to God every single day and telling him what's going on I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog and if you are leave me a thumbs up because I really want to have more um more vlogs off for you guys. Um, I don't know the next time I'm going out, but when I do go out, I'll take you guys with me when I go out. Um, but yeah, and we have a game coming up for the school, so I'm gonna take you guys with me when I go for the school. Um, I think they said it's December second, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me when I go when I go there to school, back to school or whatever. Um, take you guys with me when I go back to school yeah they have a game coming so i'm gonna take you guys to that um i'm trying to make it there i think that's a saturday december 2nd let me see 
yeah, that's a solid day. So hopefully I'll be able to take you guys to that um to that um uh, game. Like I did before. I took you guys to the game with me. Um But yeah, just getting out and seeing different people, you know, and seeing if they're like if they have a, like a prayer life because that's the first thing I look for in a in a person. I ask them do they have a relationship with God? Like do they want to build a relationship with God? Not really forcing them because you can't force nobody to do anything. But you can, you know, guide them to be closer to God. So you know, I just be trying to ask people like, what's your relationship with God? How often do you talk to God? Um, do you talk to God? Period. Like, what's the communication like? Because we all going through something. Even me personally, I think I take credit. I go through stuff every single day. But long as God is here for me, I don't really need anybody else. So I really don't. And not to say it like that, but God is better. But I am saying it like that because God is better than humans, okay? God is my key. God is everything to me. So I don't need friends. At the end of the day, I need more of God. So... If I'm not with friends this, this year, as this year closes, I'm okay with that. Because I have God at the end of the day. God is my friend. So, you know, I'm okay without having a gross night. Because I can have a night with God. So, <laughs> we can have us popcorn and movies and chill out. I don't need no friends. You know, God is my friend. So, you know, I can't see him. But I know that he's here with me. So, you know, I don't have to see him. Long as he here with me, that's the only thing that matters. Like, I don't need to see him to know that he's around. So, it's okay, like, that I don't have many female friends. It's okay. I have some female friends, but not a lot. So, I'm just grateful for it to have God a part of my life and a part of my journey. And just being here for me. And knowing that. He would never leave me nor forsake me. He would never leave you nor forsake you. So, you know, you always keep that in mind. Like, don't let nobody convince you that God has love. Don't even let the devil convince you that God is love. God is always there for you. So, yeah, know that and receive that. And always remember that I'm here for you guys too as well. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I feel like I talked to you guys enough. But I really don't know what I'm going to name this vlog. I guess I'm going to just name like a pep talk with me. Just speaking about God. Yeah, a pep talk. So we're going to mark that down. Pep talk with Nelly speaking on God. <laughs> pep talk with Nelly. I think I'm going to just call it pep talk with Nelly. And then I'm put in the comments. Uh. This video was just me speaking about God, like, really just talking about God, like, what he's done and, you know, stuff of that nature. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and if you're new here, subscribe to my content. Like I said, I'm going to try to get you more, like I said, I'm going to try to get you guys more videos with me outside, like, doing different things. I just got to give me some friends first that's really into Christ, like, not no friends that's really going to, like, do nothing crazy to me. I don't want you guys to have friends that's going to do nothing crazy to you either. So make sure you really be friends with people that really have good intentions and really not you no know, scary people. Like, what I mean by scary, like, put you in danger. Like, don't have no friends like that. Um, and make sure you're being safe out here in the world, too. So, yeah, just, just, just have, just be cautious who you go around. And I hope you guys have a good day. And I love you guys. And. Yeah, just have a good day today and make sure you pray. Love you guys. Bye. And leave me a thumbs up too if you enjoyed this video. I love you guys with all my heart and see you guys in my next video. Bye.